What's up YouTube? Uh, this video is a little different. I do them every once in a while. If you're a normal follower and this isn't for you, check out the next one. If you searched how to do this, this is the video for you. I have recently purchased a very old, very worn out, hand built, homemade trailer from my best friend's family. Dustin Atkinson is the guy who drives the race car we sponsor. This trailer was his dad's. Danny has passed away some years back, but back in the 90s, I can't remember what the title said. I want to say like 91, 94, something in that era. He built this trailer himself. Flatbed, no dove, got a couple of heavy duty ramps he built for it. But if you look at this thing, the way this thing is built, you would not know it was homemade. Like, he did a heck of a job. I've seen a lot of trailers and I'm telling you, it looks as real as anything I've ever seen. I'm a little behind. I wanted to get video of bringing the trailer home and all that, but basically what, all we've done is brought the trailer home. I did buy a brand new jack for it because the jack that was on it would not go up and down at all. So we have a brand new jack. I purchased four brand new tires. So these are gonna go get new tires put on. When they come back, we're gonna sand down the wheels and paint them charcoal. While all that's getting done, we're gonna sand down parts of the trailer. Probably get all this cleaned up. I may do some undercoating in here. Um, we're gonna repaint the entire trailer. We're not doing anything with the deck right now. The wood is a little rotten on a couple of boards, but it's still solid. It, I drive a car up on it, no problem. And we'll see what it looks like new. Hey kitty, bye kitty. I'm giving myself a two beer work time frame. And I've already drank about a third of that one. It's gonna be noisy because I have kids and they ride stuff every night. So, sorry about the noise. I'll put some music to it. That's probably one of the worst things about these old trailers. All the nuts and bolts are gonna be rusted. Now, if this isn't a redneck special, I don't know what is. Yellow tape on top of the broken lens and they painted it red. <laughs> I love it. Any 
dad modders deal with the under titty, top of belly sweat where your shirt gets into your fat crack. No, just me? Okay, never, never mind. I think we'll do a little bending on the fenders. Anything like this, I'll work out and make straight again. See how that's flaring out? I'll show you guys how to do that. Hammer and dolly. Surely to God you got a freaking hammer, otherwise don't, you shouldn't have a trailer. If you don't have a dolly, just get a piece of steel, lead, just anything big and chunky and heavy. That's good enough for hoops for. Now, I know not everybody has access to a DA sander and an air compressor. I get that. Don't fret. You can go to your local hardware store, Lowe's, Walmart, O'Reilly's, anywhere, and buy sandpaper, right? Now, it sucks, but... Don't say you can't do it. You can. Then you end up with a really smooth surface you can put new paint on. That's all you're doing is smoothing it out. Make it as good or bad as you want it. You technically don't even have to do that. You can probably power wash this thing and shoot it with some paint that has some kind of adhesion promotion. It'd probably be okay. I'm gonna sand it just because I want the fenders to look really smooth and nice. If I'm gonna spend the time to do it, I'm gonna do it right. There's a couple ways we do stuff around here. Number one is you actually just do the work and film it all. Number two is the easy option, and that looks like this. You can see here the trailer has not really been sanded yet. Dear Lord, please let me get this done. Oh, look. That was easy. It's really cool how those YouTube progressions work like that. You got God on your side. You can just whisper a prayer and something becomes that easy that it just instantly gets done. I went around and sanded all of the metal on the trailer and blew it all off. Had my fan running, blew everything out the, the fan. That didn't sound right. Blew everything out the window, not the, the fan. Anyway, this is easy. This is real easy. All right, see y'all later. This is what the trailer looks like at the moment. I forgot to take those lights off. I need to go get a new, new chains, reflective tape for the sides, that'll go there and there. <coughs> new tail lights, the new wiring, new license plate, and I got these new um, reflectors. They don't plug in, it's just a, a solid reflector, but I'm going to take those off and put just reflectors there. Surprise, surprise, those are rusted up too. So if you're gonna attempt to do this to a trailer, I would say it's a safe bet to assume every single nut and bolt is rusted solid and is gonna have to be cut off. I put paper around the edge of the wood just to keep the paint off of it when I paint this edge right here. Um, you can go get paper like that at your local 
paint store. You can use old newspapers, uh, pieces of cardboard, just whatever works. You don't have to cover the whole thing because, oh, here's another, here's another thing I wanted to point out. I could use my air compressor and paint guns and do this with implement paint, but I wanted to show you guys how you can do it if you don't have this other equipment. So, we're gonna be shooting semi-gloss, Rust-Oleum, paint and primer, uh, semi-gloss black. That will be basically everything, what you would call the trailer. Uh, the silver fusion is for the wheels. And then the black undercoating is just gonna go inside the wheel wells. Everybody on the internet is professional at everything and there's a lot of ways you can do this job I get that I could have sprayed it with some really good paint and made it look okay battery died here we go what I was saying is I could have painted this with one of my guns a better quality paint got it really slick really shiny brand new looking I could have yeah but that's not what I wanted this video to be I wanted this video to be for the guy that doesn't necessarily have the shop and the, the paint gun and the compressor so Rattle can. Back to what we were doing. So brown and yellow is left. Okay, extra wire, because the kit I bought did not have enough. It said it was for an 18 foot trailer, and the wire ran out for that side. Zip ties and cutters. You know what's crazy? I don't know if it comes across on camera or not, but this wood, from 1990 the bottom side of this wood where it's been out of the weather looks better than brand new treated lumber at Lowe's today I promise you that is crazy I need a bolt, I need a bolt. Okay, that doesn't look terrible. Hit the brakes. Let off. Hit them. Let off. Left turn. Right turn. 
Okay. I want to take a minute and thank today's sponsor for this video. Today's sponsor is none other than Sasquatch Outdoors. Check out my friends on Facebook, TikTok, everywhere. Sasquatch Outdoors, good people. Selling merch to raise money to take kids to do outdoor activities that they wouldn't normally get the chance to do. I support them, so should you. Sasquatch Outdoors, check them out. Now back to the video. All right, this is where we're at. New chains. I'm sure someone's gonna tell me how that's not good, but that's where it was hooked up before, so I figure let's roll with it. New wiring. New jack. I got reflective stickers, got the reflector lenses. New tail lights. License plate is mounted. Not a flattering way to see me, but I'm proving to you you don't have to have a big fancy shop to do this stuff. Duct tape. So, if you've made it this far, leave me a poop emoji in the comments below, just so I know you made it to the end of the video. Um, so the trailer, what the, oh, found it. It looks brand new. Other than that bad board on the deck, you really wouldn't know it. I'll guarantee if you've seen her shooting down the road, you wouldn't know any better. We'll go like 35. Mm -hmm.
pretty good at 35. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Uh, hope you learned something. Uh, leave me something in the comments if I, if I did something wrong or could have done something better. Or tell me what your favorite, uh, I don't know. Get off here. Go to bed. Bye. All bang.